surprised that Maddie forgot her dance. I think that Melissa and Abby both put way too much pressure on that kid. And Abby wants Maddie to be her winner, but she doesn't care that she's gonna burn the kid out. Shh, shh, shh. Abby's gonna eat me. Shh, she's not. Baby, look at me. She's gonna eat me. I've never done this before. Shh, I'm looking at Abby, and she's sitting over there crying hysterically. Let me think. Nia forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Paige forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Chloe forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Maddie forgets her solo, it's waterworks. Abby only cares about one person, and this is a blatant display of that. And I just feel so bad, because I know exactly how it feels. We've all done it by now. Nobody's perfect. Dance isn't that important, Maddie. It is. But it's not your whole life. Well, it is your whole life, and it shouldn't be. This is way too much pressure. It's really hard when your daughter's crying, saying she's a failure and she's nine years old. It really breaks your heart. Abby's not going to hate you, Maddie. I, 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 mean, but wait, I don't want to make excuses. Every kid forgets no. their dance. That's not the deal. She thinks you hate her. <laughs> Aw, see, she thinks you hate her. See, I told you she doesn't hate you. Maddie, it's not your fault, honey. You are such a fabulous kid. <laughs> You know what? Those kids that have perfect runs and win everything with their kids, where are they now? They don't even dance anymore. The kids that still have something to shoot for and something to win, they're the ones that are working. She screwed up just like everybody else. I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage, OK? So point noted. It's a horrific. Other students, every other kid in that room has had that same experience. They all could have used a dance teacher who cared about them. Any child being on stage and forgetting their dance is like, it's humiliating. And it's happened to all of and us. And it's happened to everyone. But there, she even there said to Maddie, she said she didn't care for a reason. And she didn't want any excuses. She could care less. Yeah, but there was not a tear shed for another child in this company. That's my issue. These are children. And you cry for whatever reason for one child and not the other. They all hurt the and, same. And the kids know. It's not the way she teaches for all. There's a double standard. It's a different system. Why don't you care that all the other kids forgot their dances? Don't you care for Maddie? Abby, for once, was speechless because she knew she was wrong. For once, someone called her on something, and she had nothing to say. Put your game face on. Come Fuck paddle up. me. Let's just get it over with quicker. Please, that's a visual I do not want to paddle. see. Paddle. Paddle. I'll, take the paddle. Paddle. I'll, I'll give you my tongue lashing. Cause shame on you. That's what you give the girls. I have nothing to say to these moms right now. It's amazing to me. It's amazing. But there's no favoritism. Not at all. All right, guys. See you on the flip side. She's going home. What do you mean she's going home? She's leaving right now. Did she really leave? This can't be real. I lost a lot of respect for Abby. I really did. Yeah, Where are you going? Do. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the hotel, get myself going right to the airport. I need a break. I need a break from these moms, a break from these kids, a break from the yelling. What do you want us to tell the kids? Your kids are fine. They're great. They have been trained even as young as seven years old. They know what to do, and they're fine with me. I have known Abby for a long time, and I have never seen her like this. I'm shocked.